Hey everyone, Wyatt here with OVM. Today we're working on a 2006 Yamaha Rhino 660. I'm going to be cleaning the carburetor again. I've done one of these videos a couple years ago and I've done a few of these over the years, but definitely going to answer one of the biggest questions in that video this time and I'll show you what that is. Okay, so I already took the passenger seat out. He's got the five point harness, so it actually makes it pretty difficult to get the seats out so I just left the driver's side I just loosened it and then took the center cowl out so the, one of the questions the probably the biggest question is once I get the carb over here out a little bit how to get the throttle linkage in here that connects to the carb out so when I get to that point I'll make sure that I get a good zoomed in view with my other camera here um, for now it's just going to be you know getting the airbox back and everything on the carburetor out uh, what I'm doing is uh, he we live in Phoenix area and he's taking this up to show so we're at about 6,800 feet and he can drive this up to 9,000 feet roughly so I'm going to be verifying what jetting is in it and make a, maybe a slight adjustment because it also gets cold here so altitude and temperature will have effect on jetting but uh, I have a feeling it's pretty dirty and jetting is probably messed with because it does have um, after market sure it does the yeah, aftermarket uh, it's got some aftermarket types so hopefully it is jetted a little bit now I heard it run in Phoenix it did start pretty dip it took a little bit to get it started so that threw a red flag and I told them then I should probably clean it but uh, I guess we're doing it now. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get to work. Alright, so I'm going to work on getting the airbox out of the way here. It's just uh, this line off of the carb. This is a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. And you have another line that comes up here. Pull that off. Get this out of the way. And around the front up here, this little clip. Skings, it can be annoying, but they come out okay. This one came out okay. okay. Pull the whole air box right on out. That filter doesn't look too bad. In fact, I think I just cleaned it last time I was there. It's not terrible. Definitely not too bad. So very carefully loosen up the plastic choke. Okay, pull it on out of here. And you've got an air line, some vent lines here. Just pull the, the vent lines off. Let's put them off to the side out of your way. However you want to do it. You get the main fuel line coming in. Get that mamma jam off. Drop your make sure you drop your tools. That's always the fun part is getting your tools. some lines on the bottom of the carb. Carb heater here. All right. Now the fun part that everybody asked me about how to do. Okay? Well, I'm going to show you. Obviously, Remove the screws. I'm going to take a, a 10. All right, I'm going to loosen up this nut. I'm going to loosen up this nut here. 
and I'm going to bring this back piece all the way in. That'll give us a little more slack to work with. Okay, now the fun part is getting this cable, right? Oh, up your little o ring here. If you look, you activate this cable, and it is a pain, 100% pain. This little brass piece can come loose. See how it's loose right there? I'm holding the butterfly open now with my one hand here. Grab this little brass piece carefully. Very carefully. See? And then you can release. Hold on to it, don't drop it. Push down, pull back, and it's out. Remember, don't lose it. Put it over there. Take your uh, eight millimeter again. Loosen this bad boy up. Right off. And we have the carb on the bench. I want to check to see how this is activating. It's looking pretty good. That's good. It's not too dirty, that's for sure. It's a little bit, but not bad. Ooh, yeah. Definitely, bro. Um, so this right here, hope you can see it, is an EPA plug. This should have been removed to do proper jetting when they put those pipes on. So let's get some external cleaning on, then I'm going to have to drill that out. Very second bowl, right? Very second bolt. Every time. Ah, gotcha. An impact screwdriver. Good stuff. So we'll definitely be looking at this for any rips. Here's same thing. <laughs> Holes. Right. Doesn't look too bad. You reach in here, you just pull. You push up on the needle, and we can see if it's the stock needle. You can have no adjustment. It is stock. Right. So we'll put that to the side. So they definitely did not put a jet kit in here when they put the pipes on, more than likely. <laughs> and they're pretty good. I'm keeping more pressure on it though. I don't want to strip another issue. Alright. Definitely some varnish in there. See it? All built up in there. Yeah, I've got a good smelling smell of it. Get that stuff soaking. See all the stuff coming up already. That's fine. Whole thing came out. That's fine. I'm just gonna check this. See if there's any debris in there. Nope. Couldn't clean. Still spray her down though. I've seen people get these backwards, put the starter jet for the choke in where the uh, <laughs> main jet's supposed to go. Doesn't run very good. Here's the culprit I'm thinking right here. I 
Yes, sir. Like I said, here's the culprit, the pilot jet. I can't even see through it, so I'm going to clean it and put it back in. So, let's look at that soaking for a minute. I'm going to inspect this. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Set that off the side. So I'm going to drill right in the center here. You get like a sheet metal screw. <clears throat> you screw it on in with your pliers. And pull. Now you have access to the pilot circuit adjustment. You have access to all that good stuff. Get in there and see what it's at. Half, one. And so I'm definitely gonna go to probably two when I go back at, at together. And that's because of the pipe. Yeah. So nasty that thing is. It's even green. Let's get that shit soaking. more pieces in here it's gonna be kind of hard to get it out you can blow against the pilot circuit here and switch the thumb over it get your cleaner down in here what we want is the air to flow you hey, might hear that glove Good. block this thing off now air is going all the way through this up through here, through where this would go, the pilot jet adjustment, and into the into the main part of the carb. So now let's see if our pilot, not that one, the pilot jet here. Hopefully it's small enough I can get in here. Yep. Much better, much better. About triple the size. These things just be become clogged. Just become clogged. I can see good light through it. I'm going to put it back in. So you can see it all the way right there. We're gonna go half, one, one and a half, two.
All right, let's continue with the slide here. Let's clean that out a little bit. Do not lose this piece. Do not lose, do not lose this piece. All the way in, put your little Little brass piece on. Activate the throttle. Set the brass piece in there. That's it. I know that seemed a lot easier. A lot easier said than done, right? <clears throat> down there I've done a few of these obviously over the years a little bit of experience so when you bring the carb over don't forget the uh, you have the drain there's the drain line and you have the two electrical connectors for the carburetor heater so you put those on and there's a little groove right here that'll line up with that piece sticking out right there give her a good little there. all right so it lines up in that groove right there we can crank this Allen back down. Okay, do not forget your other vent lines. One right here, up goes right here. And one that goes right here. And 
And then you also have the main fuel line and your choke. Which you just slide on in here. Again, this is a plastic fitting here. So you gotta be careful with it. It's 12, just nice and easy. all these fittings back in Put your little clip back in, in the back of the your box here She's good on there. All right, a little trick to get this thing to bleed. Otherwise, you're just gonna sit here cranking it for days. <laughs> 